Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys don't know me, my name is Felipe. I usually go by Phil. You can subscribe to this channel. You can also click on notifications that way we stay in contact uh, regularly on a daily basis as much as I can post over here. The reason why I'm so excited is because I was able to go to this amazing training. And I, I feel like amazing is just short it's a short word for this training. It taught me so many things, starting by saying that um, it was really, really impressive how many people were there, how much we learned, how much we developed into be not only a better um, consultant or a better salesperson or, or a better beauty advisor, but just a better human being. Um, I really enjoyed this because it felt so, so rewarding. Um, I personally had never been before to a training where I felt so, so welcome. And like you guys know, we've been talking about it before. Uh, lately with work, I felt like I've um, always been a little bit, it just feels a little bit stressful. So I feel like this was a short vacation for me. And it was, in a way, a getaway. <laughs> so anyways... Uh, coming to the uh, training, it was a three-day training that I spent over at Marriott. It was an amazing time. People at Marriott were really friendly, really welcoming. Every time you would walk out out of the, you know, the training room, they would be like, "Hey, how's training? Are you enjoying it? Are you liking the hotel? Um, is everything okay with your room?" So it was pretty cool that I got to learn that. I also ended up um, sharing my room with somebody else, another another partner, another peer from another store. And it felt really good because we had so much good talking. We had so many good things about talking in our, you know, personal life and our business. So I personally have, um, since I was a kid, I had always have had the idea of making, making more beautiful um and creating new art on people but i just never had the opportunity with my sisters i was always having a hard time because they would be like very close-minded when where i come from it's not usual nowadays that they are more open-minded thank god but um back in the day it was a little bit hard to um for me to play with makeup as i was growing up and as i was with as i am with my partner now he encouraged me to be, you know, something that I, that would fulfill my dreams, fulfill myself. And being a makeup artist, being a beauty consultant, being, beauty, being a beauty advisor or a beauty guru, it just feels so rewarding. Uh, so this training gave me the opportunity to develop myself more into that. I was able to play around with everything. I was able to experiment with different things that I didn't know before. Um, just because I was so afraid that I was not going to mess up. I was not going to make any mistakes. Nobody was going to be upset. So I, it felt really good. It felt very comfortable. Everybody that I um, trained with had, had no expectations overall what, whatsoever for me. I felt like it was just so much of um, comfortness for me in a way. So... After the three days, or throughout the three days of uh, staying at the hotel, I met this uh, so many people there. And one of the main people, her name is Jen. She was our trainee, and she, our, our trainer, actually. And um, so um, she was pretty amazing. She had so much knowledge. She, was, she, has, she had so much positivity going on. And she had this energy. It felt like she had been going on with Red Bulls and Monsters throughout the day or just drinking coffee because her energy was non-stoppable. She was always smiling. She was only telling the truth. She was always always encouraging everybody. And she had never said no to a question. She always had an answer. She was fully prepared for everything. It felt so good to have somebody so knowledgeable. So, so many things that... I knew already that were now reinforced and other things that I did not know or I had no idea. It just felt so good. Um, in this part of the video, you can see um, her name is Jamie. Jamie was, uh, we ended up practicing. I was recording myself. Um, 
I think we were getting preparation for color matching um, and then also of course doing the skincare first we learned how important it is to have a clean face and uh, use a clarifying lotion in clinic it's just because it exfoliates it makes your makeup so smooth after obviously pre preparing your skin um, I learned that I'm not um, the foundation that I was using before the same color I learned that I was a little bit higher up so I felt so good because this time I felt so confident about wearing something that actually matches me um, I usually start when when I was doing the facial I was telling Jamie you know I if I always tell everybody if you feel like you want to achieve great makeup you have to start with amazing skincare or great skincare just because you can't be fully have like glow or you know, goddess or you know makeup finishes without having a great skincare routine and you don't have to have like a like a 10 step if you don't want to when it comes to clinique they have the one two three step where you can just cleanse exfoliate and uh, exfoliate obviously and help you the uh the clarifying lotion also ex uh, helps you balance your ph so it also allows you the hydration when it comes to the third step to be more of a nourishing um step right now you can see me spraying some water removing all the um the cleansers and everything else on jamie's face and my stay at the hotel, I also had amazing food. I remember the first day that I had, uh, it had like pulled pork with um, eggs. It was so good. And then the second day, it was something about a Kentucky sandwich with lots of cheese. Uh, I enjoyed the second one better. And then th throughout the whole day of experimenting and the training, I we also had some like um, veggies or we had some... Um, you know some food going on i don't remember at this moment <laughs> but uh, i remember we had some so much food going on we had coffee we had uh lemonade we had tea um people were very nice um i felt myself the first thing i was so tired uh because we were driving and i couldn't go to sleep the night before until 2 a.m and i woke up at 6 uh, 6 a.m the first day um, because we were gonna go driving from 7 a.m to 9 9 p.m uh, so i felt like i was i was exhausted as soon as we finished that first day i went back to the room and i went to sleep because i felt like i had wasted all my energy i just literally went to sleep from 7 to i think uh, 6 or 7 a.m and i was up and then by 8 a.m. I was already um, doing a um, roundabouts and walking around and making sure that everything was good. Where was I supposed to go? I was already looking for breakfast. So I felt really good to know that, um, you know, everybody was up there. Also, a couple of things that I didn't know. Clinic has some luxury items that they don't sell at the regular, like Macy's or Nordstrom. They have exclusive items for Saks Fifth Avenue. I fell in love with this um, perfume that is called Aromatics uh, in Black. And this Aromatics in Black, it feels so good. It's so woody. It's so, like, enchanting. Um... It is not either for men or women. It's just like universal. And I every time I could, I would go ahead and go and, and spray it in me because it, it smells so good. I think that's one my one of my biggest addiction. As soon as I get some money, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and get it just because I love it. A um, couple of other things that I, I tried on myself and somebody else's is um, I tried the Pip Start line, which is pretty amazing. I felt amazed by how the products help you um achieve so much in so little time uh i use the blue moisturizer that helps you with the primer it's a primer and moisturizer all included in one it felt really good because it's the consistency is very thick and it helps you apply it on the skin to just hydrate and, and replenish and plump your skin but it's also gonna help you to how do you call this um prime your face so when you apply the makeup it just looks smooth like in here um i also ended up using a um an eyeshadow as a highlighter because it's so good it's so pigmented and also so seamless uh the eyeshadow that i use for almost all of my highlights was um 
the lid pop and pedal pop which is pretty amazing um i also use some contour in all of my uh peers over here in this part of the video you can see that we were um experimenting and exercising in a way and also trying to see what's a way what's a healthy way to talk to customers when it comes to color matching sometimes when you work in any counter you're just used to you know hey how you doing how can i help you but this time it was more like hey um what are your skin goals how would you like to see yourself and understand that sometimes when customers come over and they say well i want to look you know lighter um and even though you are you know that that's not the right color you still want to put them in the, in the right color because you don't want them to look uh uneven or just different um just understand that everybody has different backgrounds and that's another thing that we, i learned i personally myself learned on the trainer on the training it's that everybody comes so many from so many different backgrounds that sometimes you just have to let it go. You just have to understand that not everybody is going to want the same and not everybody is going to have the same perception as you do. Um, just because sometimes some people just don't want something, you know. So in this picture, you can see the highlight. It's like a rosy pink on my cheeks. Uh, and this one, I was having so much fun. Um, it was so amazing. When I received this brushes, I was so excited about it. Um, and this one, you can see the highlight. I was using foundation, a little bit of uh, eyebrow pencil. Mm -hmm. um, and this one, I did the highlight. She, al she already had the uh, um, eyeshadow look and the brows, but I did the highlight, the blush, I did the foundation, skin preparation. Over here, you can see me prepping with vitamin C blister, which helps you to even out your skin tone, brighten up. Um, it's an amazing additive for your uh, skincare routine. It's a booster that basically be boosts the benefits out of the vitamin C. Uh, then I use the jelly. I fell in love with the jelly because it's so lighter weight texture, even though I'm drier skin. It just my skin just drinks it up and it feels amazing. This is the Pepstar line that I was using and I was talking before. The Pepstar helps you uh, to prep your skin as well as moisturize and, you know, use a primer on it. So that way when you apply the foundation, it's really easy and it's even. Um, those are really easy steps and a little goes a long way. On this uh, Beyond Perfecting Concealer, I think it was number 15 or 16 uh, on medium, I think. Uh, this one I use for my under eye circles. I also learned that it should be always like two shades or less lighter than your skin tone. So when you apply the makeup, it just looks even. Uh, over here, you can already tell that I was applying a little bit. And I was applying all over my eyes so the dark circles will go away and it would look amazingly even and healthy and glowy. One of the cool things about this uh, Beyond Perfecting is that um, it's crystalless. So it doesn't crease on your on your eyes. It's very seamless. It feels so smooth. It doesn't feel like you have anything going on. Uh, over here, I was using a little bit of, let me see what it is, um, a little bit of foundation. I always apply foundation from the middle of my face, and then I just go ahead and buff. Uh, I use even better glow on uh, cream caramel. I used to use uh, even better glow on... Um, I believe number 16 to toasted weed so i learned that i was not that color because it would make me look a little bit ashy so i like the cream cream caramel just because it makes me feel like it's glowy and it just enhances my beauty and which is what i love about this foundation um honestly i had so much of a good time learning experimenting uh, knowing that everybody nobody is going to be perfect nobody's going to know everything so you have to try it out you don't have to have like a oh my gosh I'm, i don't know how to do this i remember when i first started working for cosmetics one of the things that i i was always so shy about was always um brows and liner over here you can see me using the pedal pop as a highlight i was using it and everybody fell in love with with it I, everybody that I would try it, they would be like, oh my gosh, this is so good. And I didn't even know that. Like, this is so good. Then I also use some blush. So it would look, my makeup would look more natural. I use a little bit. I'm not really used to using blush. But this one felt really natural. So when I put it on, it just felt like I was not wearing anything. Like, just my skin was, like, amazing already. Um, 
What else did I learn? I learned how to do quick uh, tips just to basically enhance and pop up more my makeup. This is how I looked. Uh, this is how much fun it does actually like we had. Um, this is part of the, uh, my food on the day two. Um, and then this is day two when we were eating. <laughs> you can see Evelyn who I was having so much fun. Uh, that's Jen and that's Evelyn, one of my peers. And we had so much fun. Like fun was going on and on and on as well as, as, well as learning basically. Um, over here we were learning how to do a uh, liner which was pretty amazing to know that everybody's different to do it. Uh, and you know, everybody has different techni techniques and as long as you get it the way you want it to, that that's the only thing that should matter. When it comes to makeup, I've always thought that, you know, makeup it's art. So nobody and there should not be a way or there shouldn't be a way to be like, oh my gosh, this has to be the right way. No. Everybody is different. Everybody has different techniques. Everybody learn from different places. So it's really cool if you let it explore, let it be, have fun, have fun with it, you know? Basically, when it comes to clinic, I learned that we have so many choices, so many options, so many from everywhere to pull off, and it just felt so good. Um, if you have never tried clinic, this is the time to do it. <clears throat> Sometimes they have amazing deals, like get for purchase going on where you can get um, a couple of things extra on as uh, as part of your purchase, so you can. Um, kind of pull out of that and try new products, see how they feel. Uh, Clinic is like an allergy test. Allergy tested company is um, non-comedogenic, so it doesn't clog your pores. Um, honestly, I haven't had a complaint when it comes to Clinic. You can achieve from a na very natural, minimal look to a full goddess, you know, makeup, to a full coverage makeup, to whatever you like. So these are part of the gifts that we received of, by participating and then we also got our, our pins which was so amazing that we are able to wear them and then we also got to try with other people of course uh, taking pictures you can tell that we had so much fun going on so i hope you guys like this video this was my train my training session over by Cincinnati at the Marriott Hotel with Clinique. If you guys have any questions, if you guys know anything about it, or if you guys just want to comment down below how you feel about it, if you've ever been at I Am Clinic, I'll be more than happy to hear you. Thank you, and I'll see you guys soon.